Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on another reading. I do a free pick a card reading on my channel every Friday. A few Tuesdays out of every month I like to do Ganesha readings using my Ganesh deck. So that's what we're doing here. So we are also having a new moon depending where you are in the world. It's on the 18th or the 19th. You can look it up on Google. Um, but yeah. So this is new moon messages from my Ganesh deck. We're going to be working with Ganesh energy. I like to give him offerings before I start the reading. So that's what I did. And let's start. So what I'm going to have you guys do is pick a card pile number or whatever's on top of the card. Card pile number one or the abalone shell with the cinnamon stick. Card pile number two or the pyrite and the Ganesh himself. Card pile number three or this is Lakshmi and Saraswati and Ganesh with a citrine crystal or card pile number four and this is a Ganesh photo. So whichever one you're drawn to, whichever one you that is calling out to you, there are some very, very, very fun messages because I'm switching things up a little bit with this reading and I'm really, really excited. So I'm super excited for you guys to get into your reading. Um, this reading is basically for what is coming with this new moon and what are you what should you do like how can you work with this new moon how can you tap into it according to your specific energy okay so let's go ahead and start for everybody that picked card group number one or the cinnamon stick and the abalone shell this card is really interesting so for a lot of you this may or may not resonate but for a lot of you, this has to do with your relationship. This has to do with a lot of lovers or husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, partners, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. Like it has to do with relationships. And with this new moon, you're being asked to change your perspective on something. Maybe something that you guys have been arguing about for a long time. You don't see eye to eye. Um you're being called to switch up your perspective to look at things from a different angle because this is a beautiful relationship and and you got to be open to it you have to open yourself up to it um if you guys are single then this new moon is telling you like hey there's something beautiful coming but you need to be open to it so for a lot of you this means opening up yourself um opening up your heart, be, letting yourself be vulnerable, letting yourself be weak or cry or be soft. It's just letting yourself feel and letting yourself feel good and bad and happy and joy and um, sexual and excited and inspired, like anything. Just let yourself feel. Don't suppress it. Don't keep it in. And this new moon in Leo, there's a lot of that Leo energy here um, with that fiery red and orange colors. So this moon is going to affect you in the way that it's just, it's going to help you look at your relationship from a different point of view and a point of view where you need to see it, where you need to look at it and be appreciative of it. This is a genuine and loving bond. But it's like because of your past, because of whatever has happened in your life, your capacity to love has been affected, okay? You have become um, a little too much in your masculine energy where you're very protective of yourself. You are fiery, you will snap back, you're very, very action-oriented. Um, and you are the go-getter. You're the driven one, right? You're the money maker. You're like, you're all those things. And that has taken a toll on your heart space for a lot of you. Remember, this can resonate for some. This might not resonate for another. Um, but a lot of you, your capacity to love has been affected a lot in your relationships. And this new moon, it's just reigniting the side of you that, if you guys hear that, that is my cat scratching. Let me just open the door real quick. But you guys know in my videos, any anything that comes up during a reading, because when we're doing readings, we're opening up communication, you know? So when my cat is scratching at the door, I feel like there's something scratching at you 
uh, to, to look at something from a different perspective because there's a lot of blessings and magic and beauty that you're not seeing. And this new moon, I feel like will show you that. Uh, we have Muladhara, which is our root chakra, which is located between our legs. Um, so for a lot of you, you might be moving, you might be just settling in. Your partner may have just moved in with you, your partner may have just moved out. This new moon has affected your root chakra a lot. So your foundation, your stability, your finances, your roots, right? What makes you feel safe and what makes you feel stable. Um, that has been affected. Now, another thing I see is this new moon is making you rethink your priorities, okay? Now you're like, maybe for some of you, you've neglected things in your relationship and it caused your relationship to kind of suffer. For some of you, maybe you had an argument where you were in the wrong. That may have had your relationship suffering. It's a change of perspective that's needed on your part. Um, this never ever means that you obey or submit or cave or like, you know, become weak or anything like that to another's point of view. It means you have your own point of view but you're mature and loving enough to listen to your partner's point of view and you guys can still talk about it without clashing if it's different points of views. So that's something that needs to happen in this relationship. This relationship, there doesn't need to be a breakup. For a lot of you, it doesn't have to be a breakup. It doesn't have to be separation. I feel like it just needs some communication and We'll get into that. For a lot of you, that's what the reading is bringing up. And for a lot of you, it's uh, changes in your home. For a lot of you, it's uh, changing up your priorities. You know, this new moon is like shaking things up when it comes to what is important. What are your important tasks and obligations throughout the day? Like, is scrolling through Instagram really a necessity as soon as you open your eyes in the morning like for a lot of you it could be just as simple as little changes like that the little things like that can take a huge effect on your life and your mentality if you wake up and the first thing you do is scroll through your social media for a lot of you it could have become toxic because if that's the first thing you see in the morning what other people are doing what other people's highlight reels then you go on throughout your day like shit i need to I need to match that like I need to be that happy if I'm not that kind of happy if my life doesn't look like their highlight reel then I'm like a piece of shit or something you know like things like that take a huge effect on us so it is priorities another thing that comes with this is this new moon uh, is in Leo like the tiger the lioness energy very strong Durga energy if you guys uh, are familiar with the Hindu culture, Durga, and also there's actually other Orishas that uh, co uh, correspond with the Leo New Moon energy. There's a lot of deities from different cultures that correspond. So it's not just Durga, it's basically a feminine figure, a feminine energy that tames her beasts. A feminine energy that tames their dragons, that tames their demons. So that means your emotional, feminine is emotion. Your emotional aspect, your emotional side is really digging down and getting rid of the demons that are grabbing hold on you, grabbing hold on your relationships, the negative emotions, the ne like anything that is not benefiting you, you're taming it, you are killing it you're taming it you're controlling it whatever you need to do you're doing it with this leo full moon and then we have hanuman hanuman is protection devotion and loyalty so i i feel like for a lot of you this new moon is going to bring out this revelation of who is truly loyal in your life and and this feeling that you're gonna know you're protected. So your spirit guides might show you, your ancestors might show you, people that you love that have passed away might show you, you know, your, the deities you work with. You might get a sign or something where you, you just feel it, you just know that you're protected, which is very beautiful. Um, and for a lot of you, 
if you guys like uh, work with Hanuman energy, then this is him showing his presence to you guys and to me. I love when I, this card pops up. Uh, um, I actually had an experience when I was very, very young and very depressed and like severely bullied in school that I asked, that was the first time I ever asked like something above myself for help. And I saw an image of him imprinted right in front of me in the shower with the steam and it was insane and that was a first like I didn't even expect it I didn't even expect anything to happen I was just crying out to anything or anyone that would listen because I was in so much pain and I was so little like I didn't know anything would come of it or anything I didn't even know what the heck I was doing I just knew to cry for help and that's what I did right in front of me in the shower with the steam there was an image of Hanuman with his tail like curled above and ever since that day I've had a very special connection with him so for his card to pop up I always feel this really warmth in my heart that I'm protected I don't need to worry if I feel like somebody's sending me negative energy if I feel like somebody is sending me any negativity or any evil eye when Hanuman pops up or when you see a monkey anywhere like synchronistically and you work with Hanuman, then he's telling you, I, like, I'm here for you. Nobody's going to come through me to get to you. Like, it's not going to happen. So very beautiful energy. This is for you guys, too. Like, he's here to be like, nothing's going to get to you. Nothing's going to touch you. Okay. And then we have Ganesha energy, too. So he shows his presence in his own reading. Okay. So you guys are very lucky. You guys are very blessed. Please treasure this relationship. It, this the, For a lot of you, it is a love relationship. For a lot of you, it could be a relationship that really affected your home life, your finances, your stability. So it could be a relationship with your parents or your children. Um, but these are important relationships, okay? Bring the joy back into this relationship. Um, quarrel. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So allow the magic into your life. Have more fun. You incorporate more coral colors into your life. If you have like a, a coral fish tank or if you have a fish tank, put some more corals in it if it's a uh, salt water or if it's fresh water you know incorporate more fake coral decorations in your house maybe get a, a coral as decor in your house but be careful where you purchase it from you don't want to purchase from people who just pull corals out of their natural habitat because that's ugly uh and i'm i mean like that's horrible that's very ugly of these people to do that but we'll get into that later but that's a different thing but yeah for a lot of you, if your relationships have been kind of, you know, on the rocks or maybe you, you, this is not a relationship you need to be letting go of or fighting with. Uh, I feel like there needs to be a perception shift for harmony to come back into this relationship and um, use cinnamon and abalone shells on the new moon, on this new moon. Okay, so if you don't have an abalone shell, use any kind of seashell you may have. If you don't have a seashell, then maybe print out a picture of a seashell or use water in its place a cup of water because seashell energy is water energy flow energy okay and then what you want to do is maybe get a candle put some cinnamon in there and light it to invite harmony back into your relationship with this new moon energy there's no doubt that harmony will come back if you push if you push it with a ritual okay so use cinnamon you can just take a cinnamon stick and just burn it just by itself but in this new moon, however your intuition calls for you to use water element and cinnamon, you can even make cinnamon tea, like as simple as that. So that is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to book a Ganesha reading with me, um, this is kind of how they go. So I'm, I'm only going to be doing one to two readings per week. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, for everybody that picked card group number two or the pyrite stone and the Ganesha statue, this is a very, very, very nice message for you guys from this new moon Ganesha energy. So we're being asked to pay more attention to the love in our life. So this new moon is going to be diverting our attention and focus more towards love, the people we love, the things we love, the, peop the things in our life, the energies in our life that invoke love within us. So that's very important. Another thing is you may 
be drawn to floral scented things this new moon. Um, maybe you want to buy a new perfume, something that smells good, something floral, a floral candle. Maybe you're going to get flowers, you're going to receive flowers. But it's very important for you guys with this new moon. If somebody's being nice to you, don't be suspicious, don't be mean, don't neglect that. Um, let that in, like let that love in. For a lot of you, it's in your home. It could be with the relationship with you and your parents, with you and your kids, you and your partner. Like be nice to them and like open yourself up to receiving the love that they want to give you. A lot of you, you have blocked yourself from it and it's time to stop. Like there's no reason for you to put that wall up between you and your partner, you and your kids, you and your parents, you know, whoever you live with. It's put the walls down like it there's no reason for it um, another message that comes up for you guys with this new moon energy is page of wands and the world let me just open my door my cat is scratching again so you guys know that every single reading that I do when we read we open up communication so I feel like my cat scratching at my door it happened before in the first reading it happened again I'm just gonna leave the door open but I feel like something is scratching at you guys. Something is scratching from within you guys. And it, I, a lot of you, it's that ability to love and feel loved. A lot of love energy coming through. Now, there's energetic movement happening with this new moon for you where a lot of you are letting go of things and people and jobs and emotions and memories, whatever it was that was preventing you from letting love in, from feeling love, from expressing love, from doing things with love, like everything has to do with love, you are blocking yourself. And this new moon is taking the blocks away. Now, Page of Wands energy means it's time for you to take action. Do not let ideas sit, okay? Follow your calling, follow your spirit. There's good news coming with this new moon. So there is, you're gonna receive some kind of good news and the world card right next to the good news uh, for a lot of you it's harmony and balance completion of something it's probably a reconciliation of a relationship it's coming back together it's a resolve of an argument maybe there was an issue for a long time that was going on in your life the good news could be that this issue gets revolved or not revolved resolved <laughs> um there's an achievement coming okay there's a completion of something or a stage of life where it could be like you're becoming a mom you know or you're becoming a dad it could be a new stage of life where you're becoming a husband or a wife it could be a new stage of life where you're be you're entering into a new version of yourself you know you're really letting go of the past where you were not letting love in and it was affecting all of your relationships your house, your home, your financial stability, that is the energy of the number four. And with the number five, there's transformation happening. So this new moon is bringing major transformation for a lot of you guys in the area of your house, your relationships, and your finances to make you feel more safe, more in control, and following your own spirit and your own self, and returning back to your innocence. For a lot of you, this could be a lot of things on your bucket list that was there for years and years that you always wanted, still to this day you want to accomplish and manifest, and with this new moon energy, the uh, the energy is going, okay? It's picking up, it's moving along, it's started. Something very old on your bucket list has started to manifest. But in order for it to manifest even more, you're being called to use flowers if you want to make a ritual for it, to create more energetic movement, to release more of these blocks. With this new moon, you can get flowers, or a pink candle or both okay you can get um, pyrite crystals if you have a pyrite crystal I have crushed pyrite on my shop if you guys are interested get pyrite crystals if you can't get your hands on pyrite crystals use gold glitter okay gold glitter can be a substitute for pyrite crystals if you really don't have the pyrite crystals and if you use a pink candle and you put gold glitter or pyrite crystals and like little bits of uh, pink flower, any pink flower, 
um, and you light that candle, that will create energetic movement so that you can manifest the things that you want faster. You can get energetically moving in the direction that you want. The things you don't need and you don't want can fall away. And you can open up your third eye chakra because for you to open up your third eye chakra right now, you need love and compassion for yourself. That's a big thing. And with this new moon, you can obtain it like this because the new moon is Leo. And that's like the first thing it makes me think of is Durga energy and Durga if you guys are familiar with is a feminine energy that has tamed her beast tamed her lion tiger tamed her demons she's a warrior but she's still nurturing so you can do that and another thing is if you guys are drawn to the Ganesha statue work with Ganesha himself print out a picture of him if you want to use if you have a statue of him use that but this is actually my incense holder. So for a lot of you, it could mean working with uh, air energy, smoke energy. So using incense or sage or fire um, to get your energy, cleanse your energy. So using those elements to manifest faster and to work with this new moon. Those will benefit you guys even more. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy your new moon. For everyone that picked group number two, three or the Lakshmi, Saraswati, and Ganesha with Citrine, let's go into how can you manifest faster? Okay, so this is a really nice spread because the first thing I see for you guys is focus mental clarity needs to be happening for you guys to manifest faster, there's a lot of mental clearing that needs to happen. So we have clear energy, okay? And right next to that, we have the citrine crystal. We have Lakshmi, Ganesh, and we have Saraswati. Lakshmi is abundance. Lakshmi is um, beauty, glamour, and abundance. Okay, Ganesha is remover of obstacles. And Saraswati is focus, concentration, studies, men mentality. So there needs to be a clearing happening where you calm your energy mentally, okay? There's a lot of mental turmoil going on and it's affecting your ability to manifest. So there's a lot of energy in your headspace and that comes to the third, uh, or not the third, um, the crown chakra. So your crown chakra, your headspace is going crazy and it's making it's making a lot of it's creating a lot of blocks when it comes to what you're trying to manifest. So we have here clear your energy and steadfastness. So you're being called with this new moon energy to slow down, okay? Cuz you're going way too fast and it's overwhelming you slow down steadfastness you'll get to where you need to go your energy is so insane and so strong you'll get there <laughs> and your your thoughts when it comes to the things you want to manifest they're very strong so you'll get there but you're being called to focus concentrate you know um, experience peace and calmness inside of your mind because although you are so focused on what it is you want there are certain things that you need to get rid of because these are causing blocks when it comes to you manifesting what you want and that's why you're being called to invoke peace and calmness into your life. So getting more in depth with that energy, we have three of swords and four of pentacles. So three of swords energy, there is storm, like a stormy kind of energy in your emotions. There's, for a lot of you, it could be quarrels, separation, tears, um, sorrow, pain, like relationship issues that are blocking you from manifesting what you want because you're focusing on the issues in your relationship. It could be a partner, 
It could be a mother, a father, a child, a boss, a coworker. But it's a relationship of yours that is uh, slowing you down. It's really slowing you down. There's a relationship in your life that is really getting inside your head. It's influencing you. It's um, putting their energy into your energy. Like, it's just, it's, it's a relationship that their advice is not helping you and that is really affecting your manifestations. Now, the three of swords energy is also you're suppressing and holding a lot of things in that's something that blocks your energy too and a way to heal that for you is to use water water heals so drink more water you can even infuse your water with certain crystals not all crystals because just google the crystal you're going to put in there because some crystals are toxic i actually have a video of five crystals you could put in water if you want to look that up but use crystals in your water use different kinds of tea for a lot of you guys i would highly highly recommend dulci tea which is holy basil tea it's very spiritual aligning mental clarity it's it's amazing especially if you need to tap into this water flow relaxed energy use that um it also helps you relieve sadness um low vibrational feelings you know if you're stuck in a feeling of hurt those ct can really help you move forward from that another thing is this relationship you know this relationship is draining you it is confusing you it's influencing you now the cards are saying this is not a relationship you should truly completely cut out of your life because it is so important to you so it's time for you to speak up to say how you truly feel don't bottle your emotions in speak your truth speak how you feel you know tell them if they hurt you if you're in pain talk to somebody about it it's time for you to lay everything out on the table whether this is to go and talk to a therapist, counselor, um, psychologist. For some people, they need that kind of therapy. For some people, maybe contact a shaman or a spiritual worker. For some people, read a self-help book. For some people, journal. Like for some people, get a reading done. Whatever way it is for you, but you're being called to lay everything out on the table. So that means getting it all out for me the best thing for me to do is journal write it out write everything out even if it sounds stupid in your head write it down because there's a power in there and for you guys group number four the power in writing that down or speaking that out is for you to manifest faster because this is holding on to like whatever this is that you're not releasing that you're suppressing that you're you're clinging on to or you're afraid to speak out it's holding you back okay um four of pentacles energy is basically you're holding on too tight there's nothing ventured nothing gained you don't want to move forward you don't want to move backward you can't really make up your mind Four of Pentacles is asking you to free your feelings. You know, a lot of the time with, when this card pops up, it's talking about you're afraid to release your feelings because you're going to either lose something, you're going to get hurt, you're going to piss someone off. I don't know what it is. But you know what? You're being called to release the emotion in one way or another. If you're not comfortable speaking to somebody about it, write it down. If you're not comfortable speaking to somebody about it or writing it down, contact a spiritual advisor, somebody that please read their testimonials and like resonate with their work. Don't just contact anybody. Um, I would highly like, in my opinion, if I ever needed help, I would always go to Arabian Conjure. I see her work. I watch her work. 
and I feel like if you needed spiritual work done, you could go to her be or Belinda, the Belinda the White Witch or Belinda the Bell Witch or something. Belinda the Witch. If you like Google her, it's her and her husband, and they own a shop and they also do rituals for people. But this is like if you really don't have the confidence to do the work yourself, then you reach out to a spiritual advisor. But if you journal your emotions out if you organize your emotions deal with it um use citrine crystals work with saraswati and ganesh and lakshmi because they help you work through things they help you gain attraction and abundance momentum they clear your mind okay they get rid of negative like bs in your brain um, work with them, work with citrine crystals, and you can actually help yourself. You can do your own spiritual work. And at that point, you don't really need to go out and find a spiritual worker. You know, you can do this yourself. Another thing is you, a lot of you with this new moon, you're going to receive downloads of information. So when your crown chakra opens, it could open up for a few seconds at a time and you get this idea. So for me, I have a tattoo on my foot. It says, respond to every call that excites your spirit. It's from a poet named Rumi. I wanted to engrave that onto my body and infuse it into my DNA, kind of, so that I always respond to every little idea or moment or thing, anything that excites my spirit. When you feel excited, that is an energy that is pointing you in the direction where you need to be going. It could be as little as it's like midnight and you have a craving for tacos. Something is leading you somewhere. So follow your excitement. Citrine is all about excitement and joy, wealth, abundance. And Lakshmi, Saraswati, and Ganesha, they clear your mind and they, they push you into the path you need to be on to manifest what you want. So... This is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. For everyone that picked card group number four or the Ganesha image, let's go ahead and see how can you manifest faster. So there's a lot of different things that are coming up for your reading. First thing is there are some things that you are in denial of. So what is it in your life that you're not allowing yourself to see? For a lot of you, it's there's so much going on in your reading, you guys. Okay, so the, for a lot of you, it is that you're not allowing yourself to rest. Tamas, tamas is rest, renewal, a break breathing you know allowing your mind your spirit your body to rest because sometimes if you're overdoing it and if you're overworked or over stressed out over worried hella angry these are emotions that will burn you out and for a lot of you you are being burnt out and are you not seeing it are you in denial of it because this is making you feel this is making you feel really drained. It's taking away your sense of belonging. So how can you manifest faster? You need to find where you belong. You can't be running around confused and trying this thing and that thing and that thing and then like wondering why nothing is working because your energy is scattered everywhere. Okay, you need to connect to the divine right here with the pearl. A lot of you use pearls. If you have pearls, use it, wear it. You know, if you're doing a ritual for manifesting, if you're trying to actively manifest something, use pearls in your rituals and your spell work. Uh, when you're scripting or making your vision board, uh, you know, or writing out in your journal what you want to manifest, keep pearls around you, wear pearls. Um, even if you just need to have a picture of pearls up on your phone while you're scripting, the energy of pearls will really, really help you because you are aligned with the energy of the pearl, which is a lot of pressure building up, but in the end, 
you're going to come out with this beautiful, invaluable treasure. So use pearls, they will help you. Okay, sustenance is something else that comes up for you guys. So you guys, with sustenance, two of swords and eight of pentacles, you have worked really, really hard. You guys are very, very hard workers. Um, and you're being called to start to enjoy the work that you've put in, start to enjoy your life, start to enjoy your money, start to enjoy your house, start to enjoy yourself in your relationship. Like a lot of you guys' mentality is, I'll enjoy this when that. I'll, in, I'll be happy when that. For a lot of you, um, you're very, very talented, okay? And you have the ability to turn your passions and the things that you love into income. That's something that comes with the Eight of Pentacles. Another thing that is coming, uh, maybe a lot of you are trying to manifest a job. Um, okay, a lot of you are trying to manifest a job and something that may be hindering your manifestation is you, your sense of belonging. Do you feel like you belong in that job? Do you feel like you belong in that position? That's something to think about. With this new moon energy, that's something you're going to be thinking about. So you're being asked to take some time out to think about these things. Like, you're able to manifest an income from your hobby for a lot of you. But it's time for you to take a second step back, take the blindfold off, and see what you need to do to get started. For a lot of you, it might be that you... You make cakes, you bake cakes, right? Um, and you want, and you already maybe are selling your cakes on the side, but you're being blind to the actual amount of success you can have with this thing. Uh, and maybe you feel like you don't belong in the cake community. I'm just giving an example. It doesn't even have to be cakes. It could be anything. It could be maybe you feel like you don't belong in this relationship, but you really, really want this relationship. Um, so it's asking you to connect to your divine energy with the pearl because whatever it is that you feel like you don't belong, the, it's in your head. Because if you really, really wanted this, you could attract it, but you need to balance yourself out okay so balance your spiritual world with your physical world and with this new moon in leo a lot of you are going to have that balance where you feel spiritually strong but you also feel physically present that's something that a lot of you needed balance with because that was something that was blinding you into in in what you truly wanted so you're gonna take a break a lot of you are gonna take a break this new moon to revive yourself we have butterflies here reviving yourself bringing new hope rebirth transformation we have white butterflies with pearls so this is your innocence coming back into play which means your inner child your innocence your ability to have fun your ability to not take life so seriously these are the energies that are needed to manifest faster for you sustenance means sustain so sustain your energy are you overeating are you draining your energy by focusing on negativity are you watching a lot of negative news are you listening to negative music are you listening to negative people are you indulging in gossip are you watching a lot of depressing movies sustenance sustain your energy be careful of where you are putting your energy because it will affect what you're trying to manifest your sense of belonging your sense of belonging has been affected because uh, a lot of it is in your head a lot of it is because you're not seeing what you truly have there's a lot of blessings in your life group number four there's a lot of blessings in your life it's time to take yourself like take a step back in the thumbs energy and uh, look at the things in your life that you're really really grateful for what I like to do is look at the things in my life that if I didn't have these things how miserable I would be fresh water wind healthy lungs um, and I appreciate my healthy lungs because I have asthma 
Uh, so, you know, sometimes you have to see the dark side to appreciate the good side. I would have never appreciated my breathing and my lungs if I didn't experience asthma, you know? So I wouldn't appreciate my life, my life force, my breath if it wasn't for the asthma, you know? Sometimes um, these challenges in our life are there to show you what you truly need to appreciate. And as soon as you start to appreciate that thing, you'll notice the negative side of it go away. Which something is weird with me. Whenever I notice that I start to appreciate every breath I take, where I appreciate air and I just appreciate and I take the time to be in the tamas energy, then my asthma calms down. But if I'm super high energy, blind to everything, go, 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 like driven, ambitious, like not even sustaining myself, losing my sense of belonging, just all over the place, my asthma will act up. So that's actually really interesting. Um, the Eight of Pentacles also brings uh, your talents being rewarded in the physical realm. So this is like taking time out to be in the tamas to connect to your higher self, connect to something bigger, sustain your energy for this thing that's coming in because it is something you're gonna be putting a lot of energy into your, something that you're very talented in. Could be baking, painting, gaming, gardening, I don't know what it is, but you are going to lose yourself in it and you're gonna gain financial gain from it some way. Okay, that's something that's coming with the new moon. You may get an idea to sell a product. You may get an idea to start a new business. You may get an idea for this, that, whatever it is, it's bringing you money. So act on this idea. Do not turn a blind eye to the ideas that pop up in your head because they're going to sustain you, connect you to your divine self. Also create this sense of belonging. You finally will feel right. You'll feel like you're fit. You'll feel like this is what you were put on the earth to do. Okay, but you gotta take that time out and relax and rest and think and quiet your voices. And the last card that we have here is a Tantra card. Tantra card is, this is a lot of sexual energy. So if you guys are in a relationship, use Tantra to, to relax yourself. So use sex to relax your energy, to make yourself feel good to, for pleasure and to raise your vibration. The orgasm is one of the highest vibrations and you can manifest with that energy. But you can only get the ideas of how to manifest that energy if you go into Thomas energy and you relax and calm down, connect with the divine, connect with your higher self, your ancestors, your spirit guides, whatever it is, um, to get the ideas of how to use this to manifest. If you're not in an energy, if you're not in a relationship, then you can use your sexuality to um, manifest. There's there are certain ways. If you look up using sex to manifest on Google, you'll find articles and posts about people who've used it, their testimonies, how it's benefited them, how it's helped them. There's so many ways. Um, for a lot of you that are in a relationship, if at the point of orgasm, if you post a picture of the Sri Yantra, you can Google it and print it out. Post a picture of it on top of your ceiling and as you orgasm, you look into it and you think about what, you're, what you want to attract, you will attract it. Try it out, test it out. Um, that's something you could do on the new moon. New moons bring in, new moon attracts, and with, with this card right here, Eight of Pentacles, you've been through the phases where you've lost, you've grieved, you've been angry, you have been, uh, you've been through it all. And it's time for you to take that break to revive yourself because that's gonna help you manifest faster is if you revive yourself, get your vibration up, up to that orgasmic level. If, you'd, if you're not comfortable with sex and orgasm, get your vibration high in another way do something you love to do have fun um do a ritual do something where your energy your mood your your just high vibe you know take cannabis like <laughs> like literally get high and then manifest like this is for some of you may not be for all of you you know and then we have the ganesh image you guys can uh, use Ganesha images. You can print them out, pull it up on your phone while you manifest. Um, have his image near you when you're doing your manifestation because 
it will help you it will help you sustain your energy because he will keep he will hold on to your energy he will pull it back whenever it strays away so if you work with him he will help you do that he will help you remove the blindfold so you can see everything see where you're going see where you need to go see what you need to do but you got to give yourself this first rest relax your energy first this new moon that is what you're going to be needing to do to manifest faster so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading thank you so much for watching and i hope all of you have a great weekend bye